A seven news state house watch. Now the clock is ticking for some bills in Columbia. The legislative session ends Thursday at 5 p.m. Our Jason Raven is in Columbia and he tells us what bills might come down to the wire. Including Tuesday, there are just three legislative days left here at the South Carolina State House. So that means any bill that isn't passed or ratified by Thursday will be dead and the process will have to start all over again next year since this is the second year of a two year session. A bill that would have cut the red tape for hospitals to build new facilities, buy expensive equipment and add more beds in South Carolina is unlikely to get through the House this year. Now, House members will take up the Senate's version of the budget on the floor, which includes some big differences from the House's version. Now, the Senate's spending plan includes a $1 billion tax cut and $1 billion tax rebate. Now, the House had a tax cut in their plan. That would have cost the state, they say, about a billion dollars over time. Now, House members and senators could work out a compromise on that in an elections reform bill that would have established early voting in South Carolina. Now, over in the Senate, an expansion of the medical right of conscious laws for medical providers and payers is being debated on the floor right now. If we don't provide for this type of, of exemption or allowing them to exercise to practice their profession in accordance with their worldview, then we're, if we don't allow that, we're engaging in coercion, really, are we, Senator? Now, the Medical Ethics and Diversity Act was given priority by the Senate. It passed the House already, mostly along party lines. Now, critics say it's not needed because doctors already have the option to opt out of procedures. So it's almost as if we're blessing those who had a right of conscience in the past that do not care to certain people. Before lawmakers leave here Thursday, they'll pass what's called a sine die resolution. Now that just lays out the reasons lawmakers would return here to Columbia over the summer to take up some unfinished business like the budget, the governor's vetoes and other pressing matters they believe they need to return for. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News.